This lesson will demonstrate how to find the length of a line segment. And the endpoints of the line segment we're talking about are x1, y1, so this is the first point, and x2, y2 up here. Now in order to show you where this formula comes from, on the diagram we're going to draw a horizontal line across here, and then a vertical line from x2, y2 straight down to where it meets. And we'll place a point right here. Now, that point has the same x coordinate as this point, okay, because it's uh, vertically straight below it, so they would have the same x coordinate. And that point has the same y value as this point because it's the same height. So we could call that point x2, y1. Same x coordinate here, same y coordinate as this one. Now, the horizontal distance across the bottom here is just the, dis the difference between x2 and x1 because that's the straight horizontal distance. The, uh, the y coordinates are the same, it's the same height. So we could call the distance across here x2 minus x1. And the same for the vertical side here. The length from uh, this point up to the top would be the difference between this y coordinate and this y coordinate. So we could call that y2 minus y1. Now using Pythagoras' theorem, if we now call this the point, the length d, then according to Pythagoras' theorem, d squared should equal, and d is the longest side, should equal the x2 minus x1 distance squared plus the y2 minus y1 distance squared. So according to Pythagoras' theorem, that would be true. Now if we take the square root of both sides, the square root of d squared is d. And although this is the sum of two squares, we can't just take the two squares off. The square root of the sum of two squares is just the square root of the sum of two squares. So we get the root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So that's the distance formula from the point x1, y1 to x2, y2. Now, we're going to use this in an example on this page and one in the next. Uh, a GPS uses a grid system to approximate distances. And uh, there would be some reference point, so this might be 35 uh, kilometers west of some point and 80 kilometers north, and similar with the 104.23. So there'd be some reference point that these distances in kilometers are west and north or south and east from. So, copying down the distance formula, same one we have up here, always copy your formula down first. And then 35 and 80 are the x1, y1, and 104.23 are the x2, y2, or vice versa. It really doesn't matter. So, in the formula, if I call this my second point and this my first point, uh, 35 minus 104 is going to be squared here. And if you want to write 104 minus 35, there's nothing wrong with that. Just make sure that these are written in the same order. Uh, 80 take away 23 is my uh, difference between my y values over here. So 35 minus 104 is negative 69, and 80 minus 23 is 57. So that's the values that are squared here. 69, negative 69 squared plus 57 squared works out to 8,010 underneath the square root. And that's approximately 89.5 kilometers. This is the exact distance. 89 and a half is the approximate distance between those points. And since we're asked for approximate distances, there's nothing wrong with changing this to 89.5 kilometers. So the distance is approximately 89 and a half kilometers. Flipping over to the example on the second page, we're given this triangle with vertices A, B, and C. We're asked to find the length of the median. This is actually from the uh, one of the previous lessons. They're so actually asked to find the length from B to this midpoint over here, and the midpoint is already found for us. So we're asked to find a distance, so there's the distance formula. 5 halves 4 and 2 negative 4 are the two points. So 5 halves minus 2 squared is what goes in here, and this 4 take away this 4, negative 4, so 4 take away negative 4 is the same as 4 plus 4 that's squared there. Now. The uh, 2, in order to get a common denominator, we would multiply that by 2 halves since the denominator here is 2. So 5 halves minus this would be 4 halves would be 1 half. That's what's going to be squared here. 
So that's one half that we're squaring, and of course 4 plus 4 is 8, so we have 8 squared here. A half squared is a quarter. 1 squared is 1, and 2 squared is 4, and 8 squared of course is 64. In order to add these together, I need a common denominator. Right now the 64 has the denominator of 1 that we don't see. So we multiply that by 4 over 4. So underneath the square root sign, we have a quarter plus 64 times 4 is 256 over 4. So that would add to uh, 257 over 4. Now, 257 is not a perfect square, but 4 is. And so we could rewrite this as the root of 257 over 2. So we're leaving the 257 underneath the root in the denominator, through the numerator, but uh, the square root of 4 is 2, so we can bring that out because it is a perfect square. So that's the exact distance from b to the median over here. So the length of the median is root 257 over 2, or approximately 8 units. That's all just over 8 units. And that's the end of our lesson.